It is approaching dangerously towards our orbit at extraordinary speeds. Brothers, let us remember the great word of Jesus, the great teacher, who said that first the gospel of Christ would spread throughout the entire world, and then the end would come. If we carefully study Matthew according to science, we will see that Jerusalem is mentioned there. And when Jerusalem is surrounded by armies, says the apostle, it is because the end times have arrived. When you see all kinds of disasters upon the earth, it is because the end has arrived. There will be wars and pestilences and rumors of wars everywhere. These are the signs of the great catastrophe. So the time is really short. We find ourselves at the dilemma of being or not being in philosophy. So brothers, today we are all here with great enthusiasm, observing the champions of the great cause. We must never forget that time is pressing, that the time has come to intensify our efforts, to work on ourselves, and also to sacrifice for our fellow beings. The time has come that we face the dilemma of being or not being in philosophy. One step back and we are lost. We are truly in times of global crisis and the bankruptcy of all moral principles. Humanity has entered the involutionary, descending path, and everywhere we witness the corruption of man. This is the time to make a decision. If we do not take action now, we will lose ourselves completely in this world of materialism. Therefore, brothers, let us not waste a moment. Let us work tirelessly for the sake of humanity, for the benefit of others. We need to become warriors of light who will guide others towards the path of righteousness. When the time of great tribulation comes, those who have worked on themselves and sacrificed for others will be the ones who stand firm. We must rid ourselves of all selfish desires, greed, envy, and lust. Only then can we truly serve the divine cause. Brothers, the time is now. Let us rise as true warriors of light and spread the teachings of truth and love to the world. We must not fear the darkness, for it is through the darkness that the light shines even brighter. Let us go forth with courage and determination, knowing that we are working for a higher purpose. Let us become the embodiment of love and compassion and show the world that there is a way out of this chaos. The world needs us now more than ever. The time for action is now. We must remember the teachings of the great masters who have shown us the path to liberation. Let us be like the great warriors of the past who fought not with weapons, but with love and wisdom. We must fight the inner battles within ourselves and overcome the obstacles that stand in our way. Only then can we truly serve the divine will and fulfill our purpose on this earth. So brothers, let us not delay any longer. Let us begin the work now, and together we will achieve great things. The time is short, but with unity and determination, we can accomplish the impossible. Let us remember that we are all in this together, and that each one of us has an important role to play in this divine plan. So let us go forth with love in our hearts and the teachings of the Masters guiding our way. We will overcome all obstacles, and together we will bring about a new era of peace and enlightenment. The future is in our hands, and it is up to us to create the world that we wish to see. So let us be the change that we want to see in the world, and let us inspire others to do the same. Brothers, the time is now. Let us rise as warriors of light and fulfill our divine mission. We are not alone in this journey. The divine forces are with us, guiding and protecting us every step of the way. So let us go forth with confidence, 
knowing that we are part of something much greater than ourselves. Let us be the living examples of the teachings of love, compassion, and wisdom. Let us inspire others to follow this path, so that together we can bring about a new era of peace and enlightenment. The time for action is now. Let us rise as warriors of light and fulfill our divine mission. The world needs us now more than ever. Let us not delay any longer. Let us work tirelessly for the sake of humanity, for the benefit of all beings. Together, we will bring about a new era of peace, love, and enlightenment.